All right. I wasn't even going to do a video at all today on this, but I just realized something. <coughs> Excuse me. And I thought I would update this situation because uh, I'm doing an oil change. And uh, in the past, I've done my oil change in my stall with my front tires real close to the front of this curb to get me an extra little height that I'm working underneath the front. I put it on blocks like I'll show you, but there's a slight slope this way to this garage. There's also a slight slope that way to my driveway. So what's different this time is I'm on, I'm on blocks. That's solid wood, three, three quarter inches. You can figure that math out. The back's on one block of three quarter inch just to give me enough to roll under with my creeper. That's fine. But the truck is tilted a little bit like this. This is the first time I've ever done it this way. And I didn't need three oil catch cans when I did my oil filter. Normally the oil just spills everywhere. So what I've determined is if you keep your truck at a slight this way, when you do your filter, it won't, and then I should also uh, point this out. This is an FX4. So it's got the skid plates and that's what I, that's what my oil is hitting is my skid plates. So I guess if you know you got skid plates, disregard. But that's what I found is this little hole underneath here. If I can get, to, I mean, I'll, I'll tip the whole thing all crazy like, but there's a hole right there for the oil to go through. Well, if your nose down, it doesn't hit that hole. It hits the edge of that hole and dribbles everywhere. So I guess Ford thought maybe you'd have just the front end jacked in the air when you did your oil changes. I have no idea. But that's what I, that's my epiphany moment. Cause I mean, you can see I had a, I had a lid down there, which of course I missed my can in the beginning. So it went on the lid, thank goodness. And I had the bucket here and I had everything ready to go to catch it all. And all this, cause usually it's just oil everywhere. It's a bit my, one of my biggest bitches about changing oil on this thing is like, I gotta take my balance off, pain in the ass, whatever. I wanna get into all that. But yeah, if you just do it on a slope and keep your nose a little higher, it should just clear all that magically and it'll just be a beautiful day and the birds will be singing. Yeah, I don't know. I just wish I knew that beforehand because I would have done that from day one. I didn't know that if you kept your truck in an uphill pointed position, it'll drain out of the oil filter a little cleaner. And that could have been much downhill in here because like I said, I'd always do the big blocks up front and this one block in the back just to clear because I don't want to burn my face on the exhaust but I got my I got my boards here so I couldn't do it oh yeah guess what kids it fits oh yeah Cadillac ATSV I believe if you will it fits in my third stall one shot reverse so there is room for that in my life just saying it's actually not mine though I wish. Storing it for somebody temporarily. Let's take a look at it real quick. I did this, I did a standalone video with the owner. It's it got rained on, it's dusty right now. This thing is so sick. He left me the keys, told me I could drive it, but I'm a little leery of I told him when I crash this thing, I want him in the car with me so he understands what happened when we crash. <laughs> this thing's nuts. Anywho, just thought I'd pass that on for anyone who's interested. Keep your nose high and your filter will be easier. Short one. Stay safe, kids.